The following is a presentation of TFNN. Let's go to uh, Ilka in uh, Boston. Ilka, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Steve, seriously, you guys are unbelievable. You are doing wonders for all the traders. Well, thanks. We appreciate that. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, all you wonderful money masters and treasure hunters. Welcome to the March 17th, marvelous Monday edition of today's opening bell on the Trader's Edge. I'm your host, Steve Rhodes, and I absolutely treasure your presence here today. My outcome, as always, is to help you to become a better money master and to provide you with the tools that each of us need in order to lead an inspired life. Because leading an inspired life, folks, that's what it's all about. So let's go look at one of our tools. This is the tool I call, what is failure? You know, if success is the steady progress toward your own personal goals, then what is failure? Hmm, something to think about. Question, is failure working on a project that ends up with poor results? Of course not. Is failure launching a new product that fails in the marketplace? Of course not. Is failure doing the best you can do with your kids and then having them disappoint you? Of course it isn't. Folks, there is no failure in pouring your heart out. There is no failure in pouring out your soul. There is no failure in putting all your energy into something that just simply doesn't work out. Rather, failure is not trying at all. You see, if the if success is the is the steady progress toward your own personal goals and failure is simply no progress at all success and failure are always linked together success is doing failure is not doing it's really that simple let me give you the formula for disaster it's three it's these three words could should and don't now let me give you the formula for fortune it's also three words it's called could should and will that's right. The difference between success and failure is but one word, one word alone. The word will, with I like to say, with a little dose of massive action. A man says, I'll climb the mountain. People say it's too high, it's too difficult, it's too rocky, it's never been done before. A man says, hey, it's my mountain, and I'm not coming back until I've climbed it. That, that's power, because he says, I will. You know, there's plenty of studies out there, and studies show that the greatest achievers aren't those who fail the least. The greatest, are the greatest achievers are those who are the least frightened of failure. Think about that. Folks, there is no failure. Without failure, there can be no success. That is truly what failure is. Hope everybody out there had a successful weekend. Welcome back. Right now, we've got Dow Futures. They're up 91 points. They're trading out at 16,085. S&P Futures up about 10.5 points. They're trading out at 1843. NASDAQ Futures up uh, 22 points. They're trading out at 3643. Russell 2000 up about 7 points. Trading out at 1184. King Dollar up 3 pennies. Trading out at 7960. Goldilocks back a buck right now. It's trading at 1377. Silver's back 6 pennies. Light sweet crude back 44 cents. A quick peek around the globe. See what kind of celebration we have going on out here. You've got the DAX up three quarters of a percent. It's up 72 points. The FTSE up 31 points, about a half a percent over in Asia last night. A little bit of a mixed bag. The Hang Seng, that was off uh, 65 points, about three tenths of a percent. Uh, yeah, Nikkei down three tenths as well, off 50 points. And the uh, Shanghai was up one full percentage point, up 20 points. Was the Shanghai? I think it was open last night. Our call in number is 877. 927-6648. It gives a call. I'll be happy to take a look at uh, your stock chart. Hey, it is a full moon. It was full moon Sunday out here. And the first chart we're going to take a look at is a uh, lunar uh, chart out here. This uh, one shows you the full moons and the uh, new moons out here. No. Came in yesterday. 
Many of you, I'm sure, saw that uh, moon. You saw some little howling out here. And if we take a look at the last several full or new moons out here, we take a look at the, uh, let's look at the full moon cycles. Now, the market was moving up on, to see if they really have any relevance or not. If we take a look at uh, February 14th. 2014 out here. That was the last full moon that uh, came in. Now, the market was moving up. Typically, the uh, full or new moon uh, are going to look at uh, look as uh, reversal areas. The market, market was moving up into uh, that. And so you can see that certainly it didn't act as a reversal area because, uh, if anything, you'd have, almost have to say maybe it was a little bit of a low out there. I'd have to say it really had no meaning. Yes, it held the low on uh, February 14th, held as a, a support level. That low inside the S&P 500 by the way, was 1825.59, but the market was moving up into it, and really, you'd have to say, with the market moving up, the way that these lunar cycles should work is they should create a reversal, and that didn't really happen here. Now, we had the market moving down, obviously, through uh, Friday. We'll see what's going to happen uh, this week. Is this, a, uh, is this a bottom? Is this a short-term bottom out there? How about if we take a look at the full moon cycle here on January 16th? Now, January 16th, the market was, in essence, moving up into that level. It moved up, really, in through uh, December 31st out there, and then really moved a little bit lower, and then moved back up into the uh, January 16th level. And you have to say, hey, at that stage, that actually worked as a uh, turning point. You also come back into the December time frame, December the 17th. Now, the, market had, uh, the market had been moving down a bit in essence, and that did form. That following day was Uncle Ben Day. That was December 18th. That's when uh, that was his going away party out there, and that was a pretty significant low in the marketplace. So, you know, if you go back to other full moons out here, if you look at October 18th, the market was moving up. It's hard for me to say that that actually worked as a, a full moon, as a reversal uh, point out there. It's certainly So, you know, is it the moons that are going to turn the uh, markets? Can't tell you, but it is full moon uh, Monday, full moon Sunday out there, so we might as well go ahead and take a look at uh, the charts. Let's go see what's uh, really going on inside the markets now, even though the futures are up and they're up larger, up quite a bit larger than what one would uh, think out here, because if we take a look at what really took place last night let me go ahead and pull up the uh, daily charts out here for the uh, futures let's take a look at the uh, Dow first let's take a look at the uh, larger number out here if we look at the uh, Dow the low intercession low so as the futures market opened here uh, last night Sunday we actually saw the uh, Dow futures push down to a low of 15 9 11 so if you go from the 15911 to the intercession high that we've seen here thus far 16 104 15, 9, 11 to 104. That's almost 200 points, isn't it? That is just uh, seven points shy of 200 points out there. Yet, uh, you know, if we take a look at what futures are up, they're up about 90. So pretty large. Uh, now, today, actually, inside of the uh, Dow futures, if we're just taking a look at the chart, let's not deal with the uh, news. Let's just take a look at technical patterns on a, a chart out here. What we can see that's taken place thus far, so far today, we can see that, uh, in essence, this would be almost classified as a, a key reversal session on any positive close today. Now, why do I say almost? I say almost because, as you know, key, and key reversal sessions, they are to be paying attention to. Now, at this stage here, this is a bullish engulfing uh, candle out here. If you did see a close above today, the uh, 16049 mark, that would still qualify as a uh, bullish engulfing candle. What we have seen here thus far is we've seen a move both above and below the high and low of Friday's session. And a key reversal session out there really has three things. Number one. You need to see an intercession high above and below the prior candle. Well, we've got that. Number two, you need to see a positive close. In this case here, that means just any kind of a green candle out there. Uh, we don't know if we have that or not. We have it at the moment. So we're just going to take a look at what is it that we have here at the moment. And number three, the market needs to be in an extended condition. And an extended condition for me is uh, taking a look at either the uh, the relative strength indicator, the 14 period, and needs to be pushed down in towards the 30-ish uh, uh, level. What we've actually seen here is it moved down to about 42. To me, that doesn't really qualify. Maybe an A to B equals CD pattern. Maybe a deeper retracement. Oh, retracements. 
Let's take a look at retracements here inside of the uh, futures. If we go all the way from the uh, swing point low, we're going to take a look at two different things out here. If we take a look at the uh, low from February 5th, we go from that low all the way to the high that was put out here on March the uh, 7th. We'll see that price is just slightly below the 0 .382 level. It's hard to say that that's really an extended condition. So even though it looks like, even though it smells like a key reversal session, I'm going to say we're not going to take a look at it from uh, that standpoint out there. If we also take a look at what's actually happened here since the highs were formed, so let's take a look at the other side of the retracement areas. Let's go from that high from March the 7th down to the intercession low that took place yesterday morning. What you are going to see here, let me just back that up a little bit, is even though it's been nearly about a 200-point swing thus far, what we can see it also has not even been the .382 retracement level. And that would take you up to about 16,139. Right now you're trading out at 16,089 out there. Look, a normal bounce. And we expected a bounce. Heck, in the newsletter we wrote about it uh, Friday morning, expect a bounce. Why? To, uh, within 48 hours, within two trading sessions. Why? Just simply because we had that uh, VIX one-day rate of uh, change that was in excess of 10%. And when you get that, uh, odds favor, it's over the, over the course of history, over the uh, VIX index, when you see that, because uh, I've gone back and I've tested them all, it run, it's running uh, over 65%. It's a higher percentage, though, since the uh, lows were formed back in 2011, since the August 2011 uh, time frame out there. So it's even higher percentage. So. We're getting that uh, bounce, and what you can see here, you know, until the uh, Dow makes it up, uh, look, 16,280 is still not out of the question because this could be, could be forming the B to the C of an A to B equals CD to the uh, downside out there. So that's what's going on inside of the uh, ES, I'm, I'm sorry, inside of the uh, Dow futures out here. Let's go take a look at what's going on inside the ES mini. Let's take a look at that. Now, on the ES Mini, we had the rollover of uh, contracts out here on Friday. So that meant the ES Mini traded down about uh, four points or so. We can't see this. This is a continuous contract, by the way, that I have up on my screen out here. As we take a look at this, you're seeing really what it amounts to a, a sideways consolidation pattern. Pretty large consolidation, by the way, out here. You're looking at about a 112-point move, of which we saw the ES Mini break out of on the trading session of March the uh, 4th out here. Broke out of that level. It has come back into this area. We'll see if this, in fact, holds as a, a resistance uh, area, the top of the consolidation. What I'm more interested in, though, at the uh, moment is just simply taking a look at what's the retracement from its high, the S&P futures high, March the 7th, 1887.50, down to the low that came in last night, 1823.50. What you're going to see is it's just shy of the uh, .382 retracement, which would be 1847.95 out there. So the real key today is certainly going to be on any further bounce. It could last a couple of days. Might just be we might just see it here and right uh, right now or shortly after the market opens. You know what we have seen last week. The signature of last week was rally failures out there. Well, we got another one today, and I think today's will help us to understand. Boy, if this is nothing more than remember all the buying of the dips out there last week, we didn't have any successful buying of the dips. What we had was successful of selling the rallies. It is marvelous Monday. Is that going to continue? We're going to find out. We're certainly going to find out by the end of the day. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back, folks. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.
TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Investors, Taz Market Research delivers to its subscribers expert commentary on the analysis of 50 different markets each day. Get this invaluable and timely information through the daily market research videos Taz Market Research produces each day before 9 a.m. The video analysis will include reports on currencies, interest rates, indices, metals, energies, grains, and more. You'll be able to gauge where high profitability setups are in each of the markets. Receive a free two-week trial subscription to Taz Market Research videos on the front page of TFNN.com. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's trading newsletter. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the Forex market, and more. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two full weeks. That's an $85 value. Yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind. And get the edge you've been looking for. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. Steve, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 Welcome back, folks. Uh, jumping in the pre-markets out here, we've got uh, Sina Corp, S-I-N-A is the uh, ticker symbol. They close at 64.59. They're trading out right now at about $70.79. Uh, Tesla Motor is uh, trading up. It closed at about 231. It's trading out about 235, 236. Hertz Global Holdings, they close at 25.98. They're trading up by uh, $28.10 out there. It's a nice... Uh, Looks like, uh, and I don't see any numbers behind the uh, move out there, but that's over a 10% uh, move. You've got uh, Candy Technologies, KNDI is the ticker symbol. They close at 1736. They're trading at 1934, uh, 35 out here. Yahoo closed at 3760. They're trading at 3888. To the downside, uh, Intercept Pharmaceuticals, that's been on a uh, tear now. It's only trading off about two bucks. No big deal out here. Closed at 462, trading down at uh, 460. Uh, I don't see anything else significant. A bunch of I shares and pro shares and uh, so forth trading to the uh, downside. So we'll wait to see how the market opens. If we go back and take a look at the uh, daily chart here on the uh, NASDAQ uh, futures as uh, well. NASDAQ futures, if we go from the uh, retracement high out here uh, at uh, March the uh, 7th, that level being 37 40 50 down to the uh, low that was put in the last night you too will see that this has also at this stage here not made it to the point 382 retracement big strong bounce no question about it especially when you take a look at you know the futures markets where it traded uh, down to last night you know 3602 
as I mentioned in the uh, NASDAQ, and the interest session high that we've seen so far is 36.50. Uh, 50. So you're looking at a nice 50-point uh, uh, move that we have seen off of the uh, lows out there. Of course, <clears throat> I hear somebody in the background saying, hey, what's going on with the uh, Euro-Japanese yen? I'm glad you asked me that. So let's, in fact, go take a look at it. Here's the Euro-Japanese uh, yen chart. You can see it, too. Let me get rid of the A to B equals CD down. That may be forming out here. Let me go ahead and delete that. We'll clean this screen up just a, a tad. If we take a look at its retracement off of its high, that would be March the 7th. So let's go take a look at that. If we go from March the 7th down to last night's, uh, well, not, we're going to have to take a look at Friday's low, quite frankly. Friday's low, what you'll see is that the Euro Japanese yen has just made the 0.382 retracement. That number, 141.71, and it's been up to a high of 141.68 out there. So it's done. Again, what we're seeing here is synergy in the uh, markets, at least with regard to uh, the bounce that is going on, and also help you understand the uh, strength or the weakness of any bounce. We'll see how today's trading session uh, goes, though. If we take a look at uh, uh, Goldilocks and uh, Silver, Light Sweet Crew, let's try to do that here uh, right now. Now, if, if talk about moving higher, we saw that take place in gold and silver last night. Gold had uh, gotten up to a high of uh, 1392.60. So it's called 1393. You're trading at 1377, 8797. So a little bit about $18 or so is what it is off, uh, you know, from the interest session highs out there. If we take a look at between the close and where it is right now, it's only down a dollar sixty out here. Now, in the case of uh, gold, if by any chance you were to see gold trade below. 1368.20. You're at 1377.30, so it can certainly do that in a heartbeat. If you're to see it close below that and then have any kind of lower close today, any kind of red candle, that would qualify as a key reversal session inside of uh, Goldilocks. Now, look, we've had those before here, and they just haven't seemed to uh, matter inside of this uh, bull move out here. The last one came in. Uh, back on uh, February 26th out there. Now, the reason why this qualifies is simply the market is extended. If we take a look at the uh, overbought, oversold uh, condition, it certainly is overbought. When we take a look at the uh, relative strength uh, indicator out here, certainly is from the standpoint of an extension of an A to B equals CD to the upside. In fact, it's achieving, it's close to achieving the 1 to 1.618 A to B equals CD. That price projection would be 1397.50. We haven't hit that exactly. What we have seen is a high of 1392.60 uh, out there, so that's a uh, pretty darn close to uh, to completing the one to 1.618 to be equal CD. At this stage, no bearish candle out here uh, whatsoever. Uh, inside of uh, Goldilocks. If we go take a look at uh, silver, see what it is doing on Friday. Silver finally broke that uh, descending price channel out here. And now what it's done today, it's come back and actually tested it. So now, it broke it, but it gave back a lot of the uh, gains out here on uh, Friday because we saw silver trade up to a high at $21.79. It closed out at twenty one uh, twenty out here which was still above the uh, descending uh, price channel out here. When you break a price channel, you come back, you like to see price come back and test it. That's what we've seen here thus far. It's tested it. It's still above that. Is silver getting ready to finally break? It's got some overhead resistance, that's for sure. But it still looks PDG. It still looks pretty darn good. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back, folks. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. 
Sandy Heck's powerful weekly newsletter, The Technomental Commodity Report, has delivered multiple triple-digit winning trades in recent months. And right now is the perfect time to get a full month long trial to Andy's newsletter with no obligation to pay anything. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $59 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. Who says you can't take it with you? TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Now let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically higher dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done, and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone sideways. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. To the races, we got the Dow up 99 points, trading out at 16,166. S&P up 11, trading at 1852. Composite up 29 points, it's trading out at 4275. Russell 2000 up seven points, it's trading out at 1189. Apple up three bucks and change. Microsoft up 17 cents. Google up nine dollars. Cisco is unchanged. Intel up three pennies, leading the charge. The upside here is, oh, they say it is. It, uh, I'd say it's Google out here, even though it doesn't show up on my chart. You got Cena Corp up. Uh, five uh, bucks. That's up eight percent. Tesla up uh, four dollars. Uh, Star Surgical S T A A. That's up a nice uh, nineteen percent here this morning. Let's go see where that is uh, trading into. Uh, give me a moment here just to switch uh, charts uh, uh, tabs. Uh, S T A A is the uh, ticker symbol that we're going to take a look at. See what it's trading into. It's up a nice, uh, healthy uh, 19 percent, 20 percent as we speak right now. See, so then there's some volume behind this move, so it looks like it's taking out a, a B point of an A to B equals CD with volume. Uh, boy, that is a wild candle. If that's a real candle signal out here for March the uh, first, let's not uh, focus on that one or pay attention to that. That would be pretty wild. 
That would be really wild. That, don't, that doesn't look like a real candle to me, so we won't pay attention to that one. But if you take a look at the small A to B equals CD to the upside, that looks like uh, this is performing. First, the uh, swing point on this that we're looking at is January 15th. The high out there is 1824, 131,000 uh, shares. So far this morning, you've done 168,000 shares. So we're already passing the B point of an A to B. Now, this is, this is the small one. Small one because we're just going to start because you'd really probably go back for a little bit further here to the left. But let's just take a look at the uh, small one out here. Small one, meaning that we're going to start down around the uh, swing point area of around December the 3rd, right around $12.50. Explosive move off of the uh, C point. 1957 would be your one to one. I'd have to say more like 2113 would be the uh, number. And that is on uh, STAA. It's a daily chart we're looking at for Star Surgical. And I don't really see what it is that is uh, moving uh, this equity. Let's put this back on a, a weekly a chart out here. It looks like I've got a bad tick ad in the week on the daily chart. I had a bad ticket because it's gone here on the uh, it's gone here on the weekly. Now this could be forming. Here's the large A to B equals C D to the upside that this could be uh, forming out here. Let's take a look at that. Now that in this case I would come off of the uh, really I'm just going to come off of where it made its last real move to the upside, which was the uh, weekend at April the uh, 12th out here, 2013. It traded down to a low of five dollars and 30 cents now this week would be the uh, time period for it to go ahead and take out the b point of an a to b equals cd and the b point here is the week ended uh, january 17th got volume out there of 1.1 million shares so if it crosses that with volume right now price is trading above that level on the weekly chart and uh, we've only been open for what seven minutes it's got 200,000 shares so just for the week it needs 1.1 million so you'd have to say pretty good uh, chance that it would actually form that out here let's take a look at uh, this the one to one on this is about twenty six dollars and seventy three cents out there that's your one to one but quite frankly you'd have to say more likely maybe about thirty dollars and twenty eight cents let's see what these guys actually uh, do out here so they, together with their subsidiaries, a design, develop, manufacture, sell implantable lenses for the eye. Offers intro, intro uh, lenses, I-O-L, I can't uh, pronounce this, intro cooler lenses. Uh, they include silicone, uh, torque, I-O-L, which is used in uh, cataract surgery. Uh, so it looks like these guys are doing pretty well. Let me see if I can see what kind of income here. They might uh, jan generate out here. Let's see what their annual income statement was. So they did file numbers here as of uh, January 2014, and uh, yeah, they got uh, they they made some they made some money out here. So uh, I don't know what the balance sheet looks like. Let's not uh, pay it. Here's the here's the balance sheet. The balance sheet is what is uh, price doing inside of uh, Star S T A A. So not a bad one to uh, be focused on and paying attention to here. Um, yeah, not bad at all. What else do we have uh, moving in the marketplace? Let's go take a look at something that's uh, moving to the other side of the market and see what and why. So let's take a look at uh, VeriSign. V-R-S-N is the uh, ticker symbol. It's trading off about 8% out here. Uh, I don't see what is going on out there, but let's go take a look at it. V R S N is the uh, ticker symbol. It's down $4.84 out here. Uh let me go ahead and uh, clean off whatever might be on this uh, chart out here. Looks like a mistake. Now, this is taken out of B point uh, ha of an A to B equals CD to the downside. So just as bullish as uh, the other chart that we we're looking at for Star Surgical, you've got the exact opposite going on here for uh, VeriSign. Now, VeriSign did form this little hammer candle down here that it's trading below. Uh, that's from February 7th, but I really kind of discount those types of uh, hammer candles on a, a gap down like that because if you really fill in the candle, if you fill in from the uh, prior session close to where this thing opened, um, you know, no way that that really qualifies as a hammer. Nonetheless, uh, VeriSign is taking on a high volume low out here today, and it looks like it's also doing it with volume. So the high volume low happens to be that that trading session, that hammerish, that truly does qualify as a hammer candle. Stevie just says uh, discount it. Uh, Fifty dollars and uh, forty nine cents is the uh, low. Six point five million shares out there. So far today, uh, it has done 1.1 million shares to the downside. So the A to B equals CD to the downside in uh, VeriSign. And take a look at high volume low out here. Uh, if you're watching this on Tiger TV, it takes you back to November 30th, 2012 out here. 
You can see a big volume down there, 45 million shares. That price uh, range is 32.81 to 34.75. If we take a look at what that A to B equals CD to the downside looks like out here, you're going to see your one to one takes you to 44.10. That'll take you all the way back to the last set of swing points here in June of 2013, and it was a, a swing point that was tested from April 2013. You've got a little sign of strength here, a little gap at the one to 1.272. A to B equals CD down. That's at 40.16. Uh, but it looks like uh, bear sign very likely headed all the way back eventually to the uh, price point of about uh, $32, 33 34 somewhere right around that high volume low from November the uh, 30th out here. That is a uh, stinger. So we got the uh, Dow is up 150 The S&P is up uh, 16 uh, bucks right now. Uh, let's continue taking a look at some of these uh, stocks just to see their behavior. So Google, in, uh, you got uh, show. I don't know how you'd pronounce. How would you? How would you? How would you pronounce this? It's spelled S C H A W K. Shock. I guess we'd call it shock. S G K is the uh, ticker symbol. It's up thirty-two percent. So it looks like they've entered into. Oh, here we go. I've got some news on this. They've entered into a, a merger agreement to be acquired by Matthews International Corp. So even though I may not be able to pronounce it well, I hope somebody out there is holding some of that stock because they're getting a nice little thirty-six uh, percent premium here this morning as it trades the upside. We've got uh, Siemens Corp. Let's go take a look at that. S I is the uh, ticker symbol. Uh, they're trading up about four uh, percent, up about five bucks. So let's go see what it is uh, trading into. SI again is a ticker symbol. We're looking at a, a daily chart out here. Looks like this thing has uh, struggled as of uh, recent. Let me get rid of some of the uh, noise out here. Give me a moment here. Control. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That was not the exact signals that I wanted to uh, hit. Nonetheless, I did it. Let's get rid of that. 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 And delete that. Is Carl Icon or somebody in this uh, stock out here? I don't know why I have that uh, message out there. In any event, let's take let's let's uh, let's not uh, be, pay too much attention to this. So this thing here, what it did on Thursday last week, it was coming back into a swing point, and it was doing it with some uh, volume. So the swing point here was uh, February third. The low is one twenty three eighty eight, eight hundred seventeen thousand shares, and it closed below with eight hundred fifty two thousand shares. So this thing is actually has a confirmed A to B equals CD to the downside. It had a consolidation pattern, which it uh, finally uh, broke out of. Then we saw a, a gap down that took place back here on January 2nd. So it made its high. It looks, looks very similar to, uh, let's say, the S&P 500 chart out here. This thing uh, broke down. Now it looks worse than the S&P 500. I think with regard to where it is in relation to uh, price of December 31st. But this actually has an A to B equals CD to the uh, downside that ought to take price really back to the consolidation break of about $114. Nonetheless, it is up uh, this morning. Uh, volume behind it, 144,000 shares. Uh, which is pretty decent volume. The swing point, the B point of the A to B equals CD down, that looks like is its next target, only has 338,000 shares out there. Uh, that low is 132.22. Uh, so far, it's traded up to 130.78 out there. That is on, uh, it's on Siemens Corp. SI is the uh, ticker symbol out here. Uh, let's go take a look at the other currency markets. Uh, we didn't hit light sweet crude, so let's go take a look at light sweet crude. Let's go see what it is doing. We touched on uh, gold and uh, silver. Let's go take a look at light sweet crude, see what it is uh, doing out here. Not a lot. Not a lot of uh, movement. This uh, light sweet crude, this is more of a bearish looking, to me, this is more of a bearish looking uh, pattern than uh, bullish out here. You had, uh, this is a 120 minute chart that we're looking at, by the way, for light sweet crude. We'll switch over, take a look at it daily. But it's, it's really the 120 minute chart that's, uh, that's really giving us a, a ton of information out here because this forms an A to B equals CD down. The A point started back here at about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. That was on uh, March the 3rd. Makes a way up to 105.11. The B point on this happens to be the uh, low that came in about 11 o'clock in the morning on, uh, March the uh, 6th, that low, $100.70. Makes a retracement, almost a .618 retracement. Now, so between 50 and uh, 62% retracement out here. Forms that C to D leg and forms the 1 to 1, A to B equals CD. Does that, gets down there at about 1 o'clock in the afternoon on March the uh, 12th. You can see, if you're looking at the bottom portion of my uh, screen out here, you can see how it moved into that extreme oversold uh, level. And in order to work its way off, you would have to say that this is really, as opposed to bouncing, this thing has really just worked its way sideways out here. 
And so to me, that's why I say this to me looks more bearish than uh, bullish of anything. And that is a light, sweet crude. If we take a look at uh, bonds, let's go see what's going on. Inside of the 30-year uh, Treasury out here, the 30-year Treasury formed a nice little Gartley uh, buy pattern. It completed that pattern on March the uh, 7th as it made a uh, 0.618 retracement area. You know, the uh, Gartley patterns they have, let me get rid of some of the... Uh Fibonacci levels, because we're going to go ahead and add those back here so you can take a look at that. If we take a look at any kind of uh, Gartley pattern, it's got five potential outcomes. That first one being the point three eight two retracement. Well, if you take a look at the uh, 30-year Treasury, I must have my... Uh Something turned off on this. If we take a look at the 30-year uh, Treasury, it hit that point three eight two level on March the uh, 12th. And then on the very next session, wide-ranging bar coming into the uh, .618 area, which is 133.12. And then on uh, Friday here, forming what almost uh, looks like very close to forming a, a little shooting star reversal uh, candle out there. I'd have to say that that wick to the downside is maybe just a little bit too much out there. Nonetheless, it was signaling on the prior trading session that wanted to make an attempt for that 0.786 uh, level, just simply with the wide-ranging bar, the way it comes in there. That's really your third outcome of any Gartley uh, sell pattern out here. We've seen uh, the 30-year Treasury uh, sell off uh, from that uh, standpoint. So now what's either going on is retracement. Let's take a look at that retracement. I could be taking place. So if we go from the low out here, that's the uh, that's the uh, D point, if you will, of the A to B equals CD down that form that Gartley uh, buy pattern. So if we go from that low on March the uh, 7th, 130.20, all the way up to the high that was put in on uh, Friday out here, you'll see that you should see uh, treasuries pull back to about the 132.25-ish range. That would be normal. If it uh, does not do that, it'll tell you that there is some real strong energy inside of the third year treasury out here now what we also have is really significant resistance up here at 135 so if that really cracks that level and trades inside there that'll be something that will be something for sure because that would uh, then that actually sets up uh, uh sets up a potential move all the way back up to the highs but we're going to just take things one thing at a time out here one thing at a time speaking of one thing at a time let's go take a look at natural gas let's go see what it is uh doing natural gas here also has an a to b equals cd to the downside let me take a look at the volume i don't think it had the volume as was pushing through the b point the b point being uh, february 27th 166,000 contracts this is the April contract that we are looking at, and it closed below that level with only 117. Thousand contracts, so not a confirmed A to B equal C D to the downside. What we're seeing here is really a consolidation uh, sideways at the uh, moment, and that is in the uh, 30-year Treasury. Let's go see what's going on around the uh, world out here. See what we have happening. Now we'll go take a look at uh, the uh, currency markets. Let's uh, start off by taking a look at the uh, FTSE. Let's look at this. We'll change this chart over to a, a daily chart just to get a better idea as to what's going on here. So the uh, FTSE, how about that? The FTSE traveling in a 400-point consolidation uh, zone out here. It's been traveling in this consolidation zone since October of 2013. You see a nice, uh, pretty decent uh, bounce out here this morning. The bottom of the consolidation, the better potential buy inside of the FTSE. Now, the reason why we want to know that it's a 400-point move is because if the FTSE were to trade and close below, we'll call the uh, number out here. Uh, 6422 it uh, stands the uh, chance of running 400 points to the uh, downside out here if you look at the on a daily chart the FTSE here had made uh, was really trying to break through that uh, uh, consolidation level it could not do that which is the uh, indication that it wants to trade back down towards the uh, bottom of that level if we take a look at coming off of its highs February 25th, down to the low out here. You can see the FTSE, just to get back to the point three eight two area, would need to get up to 66.40. Right now it's trading out at 65.77. Let's go take a look at the DAX, see what the uh, DAX is uh, doing out here. We'll have to do that when we get back from the break. So we'll look at the DAX. We get back from this break, then we'll go take a look at the uh, euro, U.S. dollar, Japanese uh, yen. Right now the Dow is up 176. S&P is up 17 points. We'll be right back, folks.
you take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy, you're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors, employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFNN.com. Eastern legend tells of a fair maiden who was offered a rare gift by the king of the land, a bag of pearls. The king promised that she could keep the largest, most perfect pearl she could find with these three conditions. One, choose only one pearl. Two, remove one pearl at a time, accept or reject it. And three, if rejected, it would be lost forever. She began by looking at the pearls passing on many special treasures. She delved deeper into the bag and soon the pearls were replaced with pebbles. Sadly, she went home empty-handed. Folks, replace pearls with time because we cannot go back even two seconds. We live in the eternal moment of now. So when now are you going to take advantage of my offer to you, a subscription to my daily investment newsletter service, Mastering Probability, where you can experience the most incredible pearls for trading and investing, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator and Strategy. The offer, it gets better, a 30-day money-back guarantee. Don't go home empty-handed, Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Catch the Money Masters as they teach you the art of mastering money when it comes to trading and investing. Next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow up 181, S&P up uh, 18, uh, NASDAQ composite up 45 points out here. New York Stock Exchange is uh, joining in the uh, fray as well. It's up 96 points, up uh, 1% out here. So uh, uh, market breadth is uh, pretty good as we uh, see, take a look at right now. You've only got... Uh, 
So you've got advancing issues outpacing declining issues by uh, nearly five and a half to one, uh, 455 or so declining issues, 2,350 advancing issues. I think my math is uh, pretty good there. If we take a look at the uh, DAX, so let's uh, just keep everything in uh, perspective out here as we speak at the uh, moment. If we go from its uh, swing point high, and I'm just using the February 26th uh, level out there, so I'm not even going to the swing point high back in uh, December, uh, you'll see that so far it, too, has not made the point three eight two retrace level 9221 69 is the uh, number now the DAX here has been in a nice rising uh, price channel this is one looking at it from uh, September of 2011 out here uh, let's go take a look at the uh, currency market see what we have going on out here inside of the uh, euro US dollar let's switch over and take a look at uh, that uh, first the euro US dollar threatening to break out of uh, long term uh, resistance I do mean long term resistance it's still well above that area that is the 2008 trend line and channel lines which it is uh, broken above uh, in essence it's already made the 1 to 1 A to B equals CD that's at 139.38 out here you're trading at 139 33 uh, this wants to trade up to about the 140-ish level. This is on a, a daily chart out here. I say that because, number one, this is broken above a resistance of some long-term, long-term uh, uh, bearish uh, patterns out here. And uh, if we take, so that's number one. Number two, if we take a look at the, uh, if we take a look at the B to C leg of its last uh, retracement out here, that would be coming off of the low from uh, February 3rd all the way up to the high on February 19th. You'll see it's only done a .382 retracement. That says it actually wants to do more than a one-to-one -one. A to B equals C D to the upside. That says a 1.4019 is the next level of where the euro wants to uh, trade to. Uh, that's the euro U.S. dollar. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar Japanese uh, yen out here, uh, that has made uh, what it's made come very close to making a hundred percent move of a move. Well, it has done that by coming back into the swing points here from March the third. Now this has a, a Gartley sell pattern. Out here, it's achieved uh, three of the five outcomes. The first one being 382, the second one being 0.618, and the third one being the 0.786 uh, level out here. Um, at this stage on the uh, daily chart, uh, uh, still today, in order to have a uh, bull bullish engulfing bull sash candle, you need to see it close above. You need to see a close above 101.81. You're trading at 101.77 right now, so you're pretty uh, close uh, to it. But it does look more like an A to B equals CD to the downside is what is being formed out here inside of the U.S. dollar, Japanese uh, yen. If we take a look at the uh, Great British Pound, see what's going on with it on a, a daily chart uh this is a you know it's extremely bearish pattern out here but it's only really been traveling sideways it's not been able to crack in essence more than a point three eight two retracement off of the low from february 5th to the high that was put in here on february 7th uh i'm sorry february uh 17th out here and uh, so this this to me looks more bullish than it does bearish it's just consolidating up at the highs out there it is march the 17th folks and i apologize i did not say happy saint patty's day for everybody that is out there uh celebrating i guess it is green all over the place because it's certainly green inside the uh, markets out here with the dow being up 178 the s p up 17 so it is celebrating saint patrick's day if you're out there be safe tonight you know no drinking and driving use cabs have somebody else drive and have a great Monday, folks. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning or maybe in about eight minutes. Take care, folks. White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great 
long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. You're watching Tiger TV.